our guest today. Her name is called Bella. Uh, she's a uh, Wells Fargo business consultant um, up in Minnesota. So she's going to come help us walk us through the stimulus package that was offered last week. So uh, thanks, Sai. Si, hopefully I'm saying your name right. Let me know, man. Sorry. Um, but let's go ahead and bring her on the show because uh, let's get this let's get this done. All right, guys. So uh, I got a few likes. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for giving me those thumbs up. <laughs> so um, let's bring her on the show. So uh, welcome to today's show, uh, Bella. It's uh, we're on show seventeen. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me on and inviting me. I've always <laughs> just kind of been watching you and watching, uh, you know, all your interviewers and uh, great information all the time. So thank you for reaching out to me. My pleasure to uh, come on and just answer any questions that you guys may have or um, any business owners or intre entrepreneurs may have out there. Thanks. Uh, this is this is this is important because, you know, those of you guys don't know i slacked off a little bit and uh what what do, what do we call this we call this a the cares act right the cares act that was initiated was it like last week it just started last week right yes okay so um i'm getting a few let me get shout out a few shout outs uh, linda thanks for joining uh and come suk yang thanks for joining you guys have any questions for like business loans and stuff like that today's today is the day or right this, this show is the today it's this this show is where you can ask questions so if you have any questions go ahead and comment below um so so i slacked off a little bit um and i know i put in that uh you can get free ten thousand dollars from one of the loan packages right um there's a time limit on that is that correct bella uh there is a time limit however you are given up to the end of june 30th to apply for it um but what i will tell every one of you small business owners do not wait until the last minute um you know this stimulus packet only has a certain amount of dollars that's out there it's like 10 billion and um, once it runs out, we don't know what's going to happen at that time. Yeah, you know, there might be another, you know, amendment to add on. Uh, we don't know yet. So the banks are still very much looking into understanding a little bit more about that, if there will be an extension. But as of right now, um, you know, if you look at the numbers and if every, you know, small business out there is trying to get that 10,000, you know, you do the numbers and that's like a million applications, right? If they're applying for, you know, 10,000 each. So you're looking at small businesses out there right now there's definitely more than a million small business owners um and that's just also medium size so that's why it's so urgent for you guys to understand which program is going to be a best fit for you whether it's the ppp loan or the idle loan known as the economic injury disaster loan um let's do this so all right all right yeah. so i jumped in a little too quick right because i, I was you know i forgot to introduce let you introduce yourself because um, i was a little distracted here but let's 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 get you to introduce yourself right you're out of minnesota right yes i'm out of minnesota um so my facebook page bella cha my home name is bao cha so um yeah. so i work for wells fargo i'm a senior business specialist and i get the privilege of um, helping small business owners manage their day-to-day -day business expenses and help them find ways to um, help their business grow and especially in times like this help their business find ways to finance um you know this these challenging times okay cool so, uh, I mean, is it, is it, do you see, is this, is this crazy? Is it crazy right now? Like, have you, have you seen people come in right now? I mean, I think, yes. I think the program just got activated like what last week, right? So yes. um, was there it, like a big rush? I mean, mm -hmm. are the banks open right now? The banks are, are, it depends. So the banks are yeah. open for business. A lot of banks are doing a lot of their uh, banking digitally and through appointment based. Um, but 
but the PPP loans are definitely, you're going to go to your bank to apply for that. Um, so you'll have to check with your bank to see what their, um, what their procedures are on that. Um, but yeah, the PP loan, if you're going towards that direction, you do not go and apply for that on the SBA website. That is through your bank. Um, so the banks may be open through um, appointment based only. So you'll definitely need to reach out to your banker um, or your bank itself to see what they have available. Um, yeah. Wells Fargo, everything's online so we've expedited that and um, you just basically go to the Wells Fargo website and there's a place where you click on there right in the middle page um, to start submitting that application um, April 3rd was the day where everyone was kind of you know that's the day to apply for the loan however that's kind of when SBA uh, released the information saying you should be able to, to um, you know jump into your bank or hop out there and apply for it um, However, keep in mind, banks still have to put uh, the application up on their website and it takes time for that uh, to make sure that we're able to take everyone's application. And with so many changes with the SBA loans, um, that could be a reason why there is a delay as well. So we're hoping that on by Monday or Tuesday of next week, we should be up and running again. That's not for certain. Um, but mm -hmm. as of right now, if you go on to the online banking, you can get your application started. Um, so that's only getting it started. Once you take that five minute to start it, you can, they'll get it's, back to you. Sorry. I want to, I want to make it really simple. Right. So, sure. so I know there's a few of you guys join. Thanks to you guys for joining. Uh, today we're going to talk about, you know, how to, you know, there's businesses, right? Was that, Bella is a business. What do you call it again? A, a, I'm a business specialist or, or, or a business banker. You can say, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you do loans, right? Yes. All right. So what she does is so right now, you know, everybody's in, every business out there is in trouble at this point. I'm in trouble. But um, but the government has gone in and created this stimulus package and she's here to help us kind of, you know, talk or if you guys have any questions about it, uh, she's going to help us out on it because this is what she does. Um, just a quick thing, you know, for those of you guys uh, that don't have a business or so. Uh, there is a uh, part of the stimulus package does, you know, give you money down the road. I don't know. Do, do you know anything about that? Where if, you know, people are just getting money uh, as part of this stimulus package. Do you, do you know anything about that part? Um, you know, you know, are you talking about the stimulus related to tax or was that the stimulus the related? Like the 1200 just for like, you know, taxpayers. Oh, um, I, I don't know much about that. I've, I've been hearing a lot about it, um, but it, I hear there could be a delay um, in those funds yeah. coming. Yeah, so there okay. could be oh. a, a slight delay on it. But again, you, you'd want to get back to your, you know, CPA, accountant or tax preparer to be able to give you the most updated information on that. So just to be clear, this is what I know. Those of you guys who don't have businesses or so, uh, there is help along the way. Uh, it's 1200 per person uh, at a certain amount of money cap that you make per year. And then there's $500 per child. So uh, I think they were going to offer it like, I think this week, but like what Bella's saying, it's getting pushed. So if you don't have a business, it's okay. And you're getting money uh, to help you pretty soon. Um, but today we're just going to talk about businesses, right? So businesses, what fuels the economy, you know, it's what gives you guys jobs. Um, and, <clears throat> and I have a business here too. So I'm providing jobs for, for people. Um, man, I got people calling me, sorry. And I got people that I have to take care of my employees or so as well. So, um, sorry guys, I should have disconnected all my phones. Hang on just a second here. <laughs> So, so business that I have to take, so business that I have, my business, I have like, you know, I have an Airbnb business, right? So I got employees I have to take care of. So today we're just going to talk about like, you know, how do you keep that business afloat? And what the government's doing is they're funding us right now, businesses to kind of help you um, keep your business afloat. So Bella's here to talk about like there's 
right now there's how many programs out there that the uh, stimulus is offering right now do you know like yeah, how many there's are um there's like four programs out there right now and so um, we're only going to be really talking about the two programs okay. um, those are just the most common and that's the the ppp loan yeah. and then the idle loan um the other loans are more for like if you have existing loans currently or um if you just need a smaller amount um but those are all up on the sba gov website and that those are there there's three additional uh programs out there right now that you can learn about um mm -hmm. the ones that the banks can do with the ppp loan and then of course we'll be briefing about the idle loan today so let's That's talk fun. about the 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 IDL, right? E-I-D-L, which stands for what? Emergency? Yes, that is Economic Injury Disaster Loan. Okay. And, I mean, the well, reason why I said that is, like, that's the most important one is, like, it's you're getting free money, right, up to up to 10000 Before, they were saying it's, like, what, $10,000? you are getting 10000 But then I start reading the, the fine prints, and then it's up to 10000 Is that, mm -hmm. is that what so you're hearing? Yeah, so according to the SBA website that I've been reading on, and, and again, every day the SBA website um, is changing. So um, unless you're on it every day and reading it and looking at it, um, you'll see those small changes. Um, but what I just read this morning, just to confirm, it, it did say that if you are applying for that idle loan, that that first 10000 is forgivable. So um, the idle loan is meant for business owners um, you know, who are needing financing um, more heavier um, on the non-payroll side. So if you come across a business owner that really, um, you know, they can take care of their payroll for the next year or for the next uh, um, eight months, then, then you're really going to be leaning probably towards the idle loan, uh, but it still gives you that 10000 of uh, free instant uh, grant funds. But everything after that ten thousand is going to be uh, um, repaid back. So you will be uh, given a term. Uh, again, it's a really nice setup. You got low interest rates. Uh, depending on if you're a nonprofit or for, or for a for profit, the rates can be anywhere as uh, low as like three point two five to four percent. I hear. Um, so those are really great rates and. Um, you know, the, there's a deferment program, so that means if you do get approved for any additional funds beyond that ten thousand, uh, you could have a deferment uh, program payment of um, out to a year. So that means we, they will not be looking for a payment. So it's really going to help you with your cash flow. So if you, you know, they're not, they don't want to give you a loan to you know start asking for payments back. They really want you to you know help with you know your cash flow for your business to keep that alive. So that's one of the you know some of the the positives of the the idle loan there. Right. So I mean, one of the reason why I want to talk about first is like <clears throat> get on this first, guys, because this is this is what they what, I think what they said is like if you apply it, apply for it, you'll get this within three days, right? So well, from what they're saying. But I think they don't start on it until this Monday. So if you apply on it, I mean, there's first of all, it's first come, first serve, mm -hmm. right? So if you apply for it kind of late, you might not get this. So those of you guys who has not applied yet, go ahead and make sure you apply for it now after we get done. So you might get the opportunity to, to get this particular 10K, up to 10K, but let's just call it 10K right now. Um, but... Uh, but you get that money whether you um, get approved for that loan or not. Is that correct? It is. Um, from the sounds of it, there. when you submit your application in, um, if you click on that box, you guys want to make sure um, you check on the box for that 10000 advancement. Um, you're right. It's supposed to be available three days later. Um, but right now with such you know a huge amount of customers going in, that could, again, be delayed as well. Um, but yeah, typically you're supposed to get that right away to really help you with um, uh, that cash flow to help the, the hurting businesses right now. Yeah. So guys, get on this 10K free money. You, you sign up for it. Uh, and if they look at your, your stuff, you know, you'll get you. Let's say you get that 10K, right? And they look at your you know, your information and they go, you don't approve for it. You still get that money mm -hmm. and you don't have to pay it back. That's that's the most right. important thing. Yeah. Um, uh, if you do get it, I think what my notes were saying that is like it's uh, non-recourse, non, it's non -recourse, right? So that means that 
uh, they can't come after you to get it, which is what we've been saying. And it's not personal guarantee. And I think there's no fees with that as well. Is that, is that what you're hearing as well? Yes. So there, there are no fees involved with it. Usually with SBA, there's usually like a closing cost, but due to the disaster, there are no fees related to it. As far as the collateral requirements, like that's kind of something that's been changing back and forth. Um, I, I think I can't remember what came first and last, but I think if it's above twenty five thousand, they may ask um, if it is. Um, um, I can't remember if it was under two hundred thousand. They would ask or or not. But it those are some of the limitations, that, the guidelines that keep on changing. So we would just need to go back onto SBA uh, website to to confirm that. And I can look and, and update you guys on that as well. But yeah, okay, it started cool. off with that it needed collateral, but I think it changed to a certain amount that if it's over or under, we would not be needing collateral. Okay. And then I think if you, so let's say you apply for it and you get, from what I'm hearing also is that you, if you apply for it and you get a $20,000 loan toward you, um, the first 10,000 is, is, is like wave, right? It's because it's a grant. And then the, your loan is actually the 10, the 10,000, right? Yes, so the loan 10, is off yeah. that 10,000. But you keep that ten thousand. So, so for just to recap, you you apply for this, and you get a twenty twenty thousand dollar loan. That first ten thousand, you get to keep, you know, pay off your expense for your businesses, and then after that, the other ten thousand is your loan, which is at up to four percent, right? Mm -hmm. at, yes. And then you were saying it's deferred, right? So when it's deferred, it's you know. I think they give you six months on that, right? To pay to pay that particular loan by default. On the, mm -hmm. on the PPP, it's six months, uh -huh. and then on the idle, it's a year. Wow. So yeah, okay. it's a year. So um, and depending on how large the loan is, um, the terms can be brought out to about thirty years. So <clears throat> keeping your payments really nice and low. So yeah. that's where a lot of business owners are really take advantage of, um, you know, ensuring that they're they're putting everything in. Um, and if they're, I'm not sure if they're doing consolidation, I believe they, that may be, um, something that a lot of businesses are, are doing is paying off their debt so they can kind of get everything under a smaller, a lower interest rate and then bring it out to up to 30 years. But, um, again, those are things that are going to be changing, um, day by day with SBA. So we'll just have to, you know, follow up with them on that. Okay. So that's, that's really good. If it's, it's one year and we'll go back, like I said, it's changing, right? So mm -hmm. if she's saying it's a year, so you get the extra 10,000 to not pay for it within a year. So you can use that to your advantage for your business. So, I mean, what I'm doing now is, you know, for my business right now, I'm having to use my credit cards to pay off my utilities. Mm -hmm. Um, and my utilities, pretty much most of my utilities, even my, even my mortgage, I'm using my credit cards and, and all that's, it's covered under this particular, um, 10,000, right. Grant that they're giving you. So, because the, because mm -hmm. the government wants you to take that 10,000 and pay it forward to, to keep your business afloat. So don't take that money and, and go on a vacation or something like that. Because mm -hmm. it, if they do find out, then you, there might be some issues along the way, right? But exactly. that use that ten thousand. So if you're struggling with your business, use that ten thousand to pay off your business expense. Like you know, I don't know, would gas be part of your business expense? I would say yes, right? Because mm -hmm. you know we have a lot of realtors that are you know have like their own business, so. Use that for gas, um, <clears throat> utilities. Like, yeah, you know, for me, I do an Airbnb. I have to pay off my cable bill. I have to pay off power. You know, to keep these rentals alive right now. So, so I'm gonna need that money to do that. On the, and that all that's covered within that 10k. Um, but if I'm using my credit cards, which is charging me like I don't know, man, it's it's like 12, 13 percent interest rate right now. Now it's been dropped down to 3%. So that's going to help me, you know, it's going to help you save a little more money down the road. And you don't have to pay for that until, like what Bella's saying, within a year from now. So that's great. So thanks for giving us that info. 
Uh, and then you're saying that that gets stretched out to how long, like 30 years? Is that what you're saying? Or It can be up to 30 years. So SB is definitely going to look at the amount that you're requesting. So if it makes sense for 30 years, they're yeah. going to, uh, you know, that could be wow. like the longest. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're getting 10,000, it's probably not going to be 30 years. But, you know, if you're a big, comp a mid-sized company and, and you're borrowing anywhere from, you know, the 50,000 to 300,000, they're going to work with you on, uh, you know, getting that payment uh, down to 30 years to keep it low, keep the interest rate, um, you know, very low and, and attractive. So, mm -hmm. cool, cool. So, let's ask. There was a few questions that was posted on here. Um, so, uh, yeah, you guys have any questions? Go ahead and post in the comments so uh, we can have Bella answer it. So, um, Bliss is hi. All of our properties are under our name. Do we qualify for the loan? Right. So, um, Bella, I don't know if you do any real estate. A bunch of my friends here have real estate. Do, do you know anything about that? If you don't, I can um, answer that too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you can definitely, if, if with your experience, fill in. Just what I've learned uh, is, is number one, if you're working with your an accountant or a CPA, depending on how you guys file your taxes, whether it's um, you know as a sole prop, as an LLC, you know, how was that? Um, how how is the income being being filed? So if you, it's under an EIN um, and it's still under your name, under a business or a sole prop, yes, you guys can still apply for it. Um, so again, I'm gonna that. I mean, if you have any more information on that, I definitely um, shed some more light on that. But I would say bring that back to your CPA and your accountant um, to to see how they file that. Yeah. So um, Leah. So the answer to that is like yes, I do I mean. With me, I do have a few properties under multiple LLCs. So, uh, and then I also got properties under my name as well. So, the so by talking to my CPA, she's talking about she's thinking because she's like they're not even clear on that in the bill. Mm -hmm. So she's she's just kind of going off what she's thinking is that just from reading the forms that that it's it's under one particular trade business, right? So real estate, if you're renting stuff that's one particular trade business. And then let's say you have another LLC for like, you sell t-shirts, that's a different trade, like a business trade. So then you can do another, you can do another request or another loan with that particular trade. So, but, but she's like, go ahead and apply anyway, right? So for me, so she doesn't know the, the requirements because it's kind of, it's not clear yet. So she's like, go ahead and apply anyways. The worst thing you can do is get denied. So what you can do is what I did was I applied under my, because uh, it's under most, some of my properties because I'm a landlord. So some of my properties are under my name. So I applied it under my social security number. And then the properties that are under my LLC, I went ahead and did it as, you know, a, uh, a like a company or a corporation. So that's kind of why I didn't, uh, you can kind of do that too. And then when, when we actually face it, <clears throat> when you actually get to talk to somebody, now Bella, is it, are they going to call you? Because when I submit it, uh, do they, do you know that they're going to call you or if you're just going to email conversation back and forth? Great question. On, on through SBA, um, I believe that they will be um, reaching back out to you through email. So okay. just, um, yeah, um, same thing with your banks. A lot of them will be reaching out to you uh, via email um, or possibly phone calls, depending if you have a relationship with a banker. So, Malia, go ahead and apply. Like I say, it doesn't hurt to apply. I mean, within three days, hopefully you get that 10K, right, to cover your business. Because I know because you, you now have a Airbnb business as well. So go ahead and apply. And, <clears throat> and you're also a landlord, so that's actual – a business as well so you know hopefully you get something out of it you know the key thing is to apply ahead of time because you want to you want to be a part of those um what do what what we say like part of that group that can get that ten, that that free 10k amount mm -hmm. yeah. right that's that's the key thing right because it's only capped out a certain amount of money I, I don't know how much but i think it's already capped out so that's go ahead and apply uh we'll, we'll walk you through uh, later on how to do it it's like two minutes all right uh another question you guys have any questions uh thanks you guys for joining there's a lot of people here uh vamun fu maria joseph steve fong true um 
thanks you guys for joining let me let me know if you guys have any questions uh comment below so we can get those answered right so right now we're talking to uh, bella she's from uh, wells fargo she's a business i keep forgetting a uh, business loan expert <laughs> uh forgot what your title was <laughs> so but she's a bit she's a small business loan expert so we can kind of answer her questions and you know uh, go from there those of you guys are like um landlords right that's considered a business right so apply for it right bella mm -hmm. yes. um if you Absolutely. like if you work at home village mm -hmm. right that's yes. a business right well not that's work but if you sell stuff at home village mm -hmm. you're a business you know, you yes. can get this stuff. If you have a LLC, you can apply and get this stuff. Um, what else? Well, I mean, stuff that we don't think th that we can qualify for. Like you're a real estate agent, you can mm -hmm. you can get this. Um, what else? You're a, um, if you're a if you're a subcontractor. So let's say for you, Chai, you work with a lot of customers that may be subcontractors and vendors to you. Um, they also, if they're 1099, they can also apply for this as well. So if their work is low and, and that has impacted their um, income cash flow to themselves, they can also apply. Awesome. So like what like self con like she's saying if you're like a painter, right? Mm -hmm. You go Correct. out and paint houses, that's your job that you work for yourself, you can you can get this. You know, if you're a um I don't know, man, what else? If you flip houses, does that count? Mm -hmm. There yeah, you go. That counts. Um there's so many things, you know, like, I don't know, like you, you Uber, you're an Uber driver. Does that count? There you guys go. So all that counts guys. So don't be like, Oh, you know, I don't have a business. You know, you are a business. You just don't think that you are. Um, a couple questions here. Let's see here. Uh, Qua says, hello, explain about the loan stimulus package and how it works with the free. Uh, we just talked about that. Um, qualifications, Qua is talking about qualifications, like, right, as long as you have a business, right, pretty much. Yes, if you have a business and if you, um, you know, you'll have to check with your banks. It, um, it's different for the PPP and the idle loan. Um, I believe that with the um, idle loan, as long as you have been in business since, uh, the beginning of uh, 2020, so January, uh, that qualifies you. PPP, I believe that um, they are also with the same. However, the dates with the banks may require that it's February uh, 15, 2020, that you've been in business. So you want to make sure that you um, were a registered business, that you have um, tax documents that that um, verify that you have been in business, um, you know, in 2019, possibly. Uh, so again, there's been a lot of you know, questions around that. Is it the last 12 months that you guys need? Is it 2019 that you guys need? So just have both ready. Have 12 months or 2019 um, ready. Again, those are um, some of the um, documents that your banks may ask just so that they can verify that you were a um, existing business. Not that they're going to look at all that, but they're just, they want to verify that as one of the qualifications, whether um, they're going to work on your loan right away or not. Cool. Cool. Uh, Kong says, uh, I mean, part of the application, it's, I mean, we'll walk through it and it'll be quick, but he's asking, do they look at your, your, your credit score? I mean, you're doing just normal mm -hmm. SBA loans, but part of the stimulus package alone, they do ask for your social security number, right? They do. That's a great question. So um, with the IDLE loan and the PPP, the, it's, they're a little different. So with the IDLE loan, because they are um, approving you for a loan that's going to, you know, actually be a loan, um, an amortized loan for the next, you know, 10 to 30 years, uh, they may still uh, look at some, you know, you may have to follow their credit guidelines with SBA. So according to them, they are still looking at credit scores out there um, with the PPP loan. I have not heard anything with that. So um, I, all I've heard was that as long as you can provide that you, you know, your your numbers, um, you know, that you have payroll that you need to pay, you've been in an existing business. Um, I have not heard that they are looking at credit scores on that side. So that's a good thing. However, that can change. <laughs> but as of right now, um, there is no... Um, um, information out there stating that banks are, you know, going to be looking at your credit score or, or pulling credit score. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Yang saying that he applied a little bit too late, but I think you don't know that, right? If you applied, mm -hmm. you applied, there might be a second stimulus package coming along, you know, after this. So I think if you guys think that it's too late now, since it's already been a week, still apply because there might be another stimulus package come along and you're 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 in line right so if you apply now you know uh the people that haven't done it yet it's gonna apply later you're still in front of the line in front of them so um uh brian go ahead and still apply or anybody who hasn't done it yet apply um is the, the other question from is um is there a deadline to apply for this right i think there is because when we go to the website i think it's I september think i want to say it's uh june 30th um i i june 30th or the end of uh, december 31st so i think with the idol it's uh december 31st i'll have to confirm on that we'll look at it. Have so many we'll look at it mind. yeah we'll look at it in a bit I think it tells you on the top right uh, when I saw it. So just remind me to go back and point that yeah. out. Um, let's see here. Uh, I do Joe? think it's December. Gotcha. Hi, Joe. Uh, Joe goes, hey, you need to watch this. Hey, Joe. And Joe has a friend that does um, like a weight, more like a weight. He has like a gym. Mm -hmm. um, that works, right? That works. If you um, registered your business, you have either an EIN number or you have a bank account or you, um, you know, show that on your taxes um, as income, um, that will work. Gotcha. Uh, good job, Maria. Maria says uh, she's applying for that 10K free money and 100K loan. <clears throat> hey, do you know, like, like, how do they determine that loan amount? Bella? Uh, yeah, they are actually looking at a couple things. So they, they want your calculations of um, your uh, payroll, um, all of your, your expenses, your business expenses, your rent, your lease, um, healthcare benefits. So if you're a larger company where you um, are, are paying your employees, um, you're in, you know, you're putting money into their investments, you're, you have retirements, you're paying for healthcare, all of that wrapped up is going to be a part of that. So um, if you're applying through the PPP through the banks, they're they're going to be helping you with all that. They're going to probably with all the information they're looking for, they may be able to give you some assistance with determining an amount that is right for you. Um, yeah. I, and I think if you're going through the SBA, you you need to have those numbers ready. What about that? I mean, I know you talk about the PPP. What about the EIDL? Yes. The, so, so that would, that would be what I was referring to. Yep. So yeah, you got to be prepared for that. You got to, you know, sit down with your CPA, your accountant, um, and, and ask them, you know, what are these numbers that I should be giving? So that is, that is kind of where they can come in really handy to help you make that de determination. Um, you can also, let's say you asked for a hundred thousand and then realize, you know what, I actually need 150,000. You can go back and then, um, you know, work with in a, a, an express SBA loan officer officer and say you know what i need to make amendments and okay. they'll they'll make amendments for you mm -hmm. awesome and then chaco's can i apply for my dj service under dba yeah yeah i think you, you can, can. Mm -hmm. yeah it's 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 on there i think i even see the dba part under uh, the sba uh, form where can we apply for the stimulus package uh let's see here she's saying where can we apply for the stimulus package? Can we apply with yeah? So we got Gan Yok is a truck driver. Yeah, I mean I, I don't know anything about how a truck driver works, but I guess we can apply. I guess they have an EIN number. Yes, mm -hmm. EIN number pretty much means you have a business, right? Yeah. All right. So let's move on. So let's um, let's let's show them the page, right? So I don't know. Let me see if I can introduce my my other screen here and uh if you guys have questions go ahead and comment below this is kind of complicated but it's not complicated right <laughs> bella yeah it's uh, a lot of information so because it's still is everything's still changing 
Mm-hmm. And when you apply for stuff, it's like, uh, it's really simple. It's like, did I do it, it right? It you is. Know, the, the government really wants to make this simple for business owners. So again, it's really simple. Um, don't overwhelm yourself. They just really need the basics of the amount you need, proof that you've been in business. business. Gotcha. So yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really simple. simple. You guys you are going to go, go on, on and you're going to be like, like wow, wow, this is so, so easy. easy. Okay. So, um, so we got two screens here. Let me go ahead and make it look like this. So I'll zoom in. So all, all you're doing is you're going to see. You guys see this okay? Anybody? Give a moment. But you're going to sba.gov, right? Correct, correct. And then sba.gov takes you to this particular, you know, you'll see this coronavirus thing right here. But you want to click on the link up here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you'll you'll get this page here, and I usually go under coronavirus funding options here. Um, and see, I think it just changed. Did it just change on me? It did. Oh, it did change. Yeah. So, like I said, those links, you know, we can give you links, but they're always changing, right? So, uh, I think it's the funding options now. So um they're constantly changing this i mean when i apply for this i didn't get all this right it was, it was very like, simple yeah it was like one yeah you click here and then click on this particular and then i'm i'm filling out my pages so it's changing uh as we speak so i think this is the funding options right uh no this this is different too let's see here you're, you're going, going to, go to go to let me, let me see economic, economic uh let me go, let me go back, back here. here i think this is it. Yeah. Okay. So what I got, how I got here was I went to the Corona funding options, right? Coronavirus mm -hmm. funding options. And then from there, I went to um, click here for more about the debit relief options here. And then it gives you this. So look for this coronavirus relief options, right? So this is what you know. Bella was talking about the PPP, and then what we were talking about is the the EIDL loan advance. So let's go back to this part where we're talking about that 10K portion of it. Where if you're looking for money right now, right away, that so we're looking at um, three days from now, right? So it, technically, when I applied for it back on Wednesday, I should have maybe got it by. You know, Wednesday. Oh, it was Tuesday. Should have, should have got it by Friday, but um, you know, I think they pushed it back a little bit more. So hopefully, what I'm hearing is that if I get something, I should get something by this Wednesday, as far as something related to this particular 10k uh, advance money that they're talking about here. So let's go here. So this is what I did um, to to start applying for my. You know, and the e EIDL is pretty much stands for Economic in Injury Disaster Loan Emergency Advance, right? So okay. you go here and, oh, geez, it's like it's different now, too. Have you seen it? How do you apply for it now? Let's see. Um, I, I found, found it under, under if you, you go, go back, back up to, to funding, funding programs, programs. Uh -huh. you want to just, just hover, hover over funding, funding programs. programs. And then, and you're, then gonna you're gonna see a, see a drop, drop down, down where it says, says loans, loans coronavirus, coronavirus relief. relief. So uh, if you head back to the top, top there, there page. page. Yeah. Uh, let's right see. Here. I don't see, I don't see it on your page. page. Go, Go back, back one, one more. more. And then can and you go to the very top? top? There should top. be little tabs in the top. The coronavirus funding options. Let's, Let's see. see. Yeah, your patient's a little different from mine. Let me go back to the beginning. Yeah. So uh, let me see here. Let me go here. I think it looks like this. And literally, it's like three pages when I applied for it. It was like literally three things. Three pages that I'm just filling in. They say it takes okay, about... there you go. Do you see that? that? Yeah. It says funding, funding program. program. Okay, okay, so, so right, right there, there where it says loans. loans. Yeah. You're going to hover, uh, you're going to go to click the coronavirus, coronavirus relief, relief options. options. Okay. 
and then once that page opens up, it's going to scroll down. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. One more. Wow, so, that's weird. weird. All right, so let's say we go here. Let's just see if it gives a way to apply for it. Uh, content eligibility. Um, you're gonna have to dig deeper. To uh, so it's right here to apply. There you go. There you go. That's <laughs> one. Wow. So yeah, I didn't see this before either. I mean, it was like I was looking at this earlier. This has just been updated. So correct, yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. So you click here, and then it loads out the the application. And right, so so you as a let's just say me, right? Um, I had I have a LLC that I put my properties in. Um, if I were to start on this application, this is what I did. I, I kind of walk you through on what I guys what I did here, right? Um, as a business, right? So I have an LLC. I click here because I have a business, no more than five hundred employees. And then you can kind of read this, and these are just kind of check boxes that they want to make sure you're not doing anything illegal stuff like that. So you read all of this, but ultimately it's going to be all check, all check. right? And then continue, and then they're going to ask you for your business name. So you know, I just say X company, right? Created, created name. This is kind of what we were talking about with. Um, Somebody was asking, child was talking about his his DBA, right? His trade name. So, child, I think your DJ service, whatever you put in your, your trade name, you put in here, right? And then you put in your EIN number uh, for your business. So, every business has an EIN. So, you know, I could just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. Organization type. Uh, it was a LLC in my part here. Um, and every one of these with that has a red dot on there, you, you will have to fill out guys. So as an applicant, uh, yeah, I'm not a non, I'm a nonprofit and it's applicant and franchise. No, I'm not a franchise, right? So gross revenue, let's just say, you know, I make, you know, 500,000, whatever. And then cost of goods sold. Um, I actually put my expense here. Do you know? And let me see if you know I mean, what Bella is. Do you know what this kind of stands? If I'm a if I'm a landlord, do you have an idea what this should be? I put all my expenses down, and I'm getting mixed mixed stuff, like mixed mm -hmm. we mix uh, answers from it. So you, so you can, can on, on the, the idle, idle. I would, I would say, say the expenses. expenses you can you can. You can like, like put, put down, down all, all your, your expenses, expenses projected, projected give them, give them an idea, idea of what, what you need, need to help with cash flow in the yes. next you know couple yeah. months um there, there is, is an option where if you did request for too much, much you, can you can actually go back and have, have them decrease, decrease that, that later. later okay so it's so better, better to, to what i'm hearing is it's better to apply for what you feel you are going to need um and then if you request too much you can decrease it Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> so what I do is I put my expense down here. So let's just say it's twenty five hundred. But I'm hearing other other landlords. If you're if you do a landlord business or if you rent stuff like that, they're putting in zero because they're not selling anything. So I'm getting mixed results from that. Uh, I guess you can always follow up later with whoever's you know responding back to you on that particular loan. Uh, and then you put in your address, you know, um, uh, let's see here, I can't, I can just put in mine right here, right? And then my info, you guys get to see where I live, my business establishment. So if you're a sole proprietor, you can put in like when you started it, or if you are, um, what is it, if you are if you have a business, right, you get to find out when you when you started your business, right, from your documents. So just do one zero one, maybe two thousand eleven ownership. Zero one two thousand eleven business activity. Business activity. I'm a rental real estate. 
and it, it didn't have anything like for me for like you know like as a landlord so i just put down property management i mean does it do you think this really matters or they can always change this down the road right bella yeah yeah you, you think, that's the description, description correct? correct yeah yeah, yeah you, can you can always change, change that. that of course, of course you, you want to put this closely, closely as, uh, as what, what you, you you are doing, doing so they yeah. can understand what industry you're from gotcha and then as for employees, I was told that, <clears throat> so just me, right? Because I manage all my properties, mm -hmm. but they're saying that you can include people that that you 1099 to as employees, right? Yeah, yeah so, that's so that's a really touchy, touchy subject, subject with a lot, lot of CPAs, CPAs and, and lawyers and attorneys, attorneys out there. there. You, you can, can add, add them on. on. I, I believe, believe that they didn't, didn't put that in there to to, to put, put any limitations, limitations on it, but, but what, what is happening, happening and what, a lot of the things that that, that CPA is not, not liking like about that is that they don't want people double, double dipping. dipping. So, remember so remember earlier when, when I mentioned, mentioned that vendors, vendors 1099s, can also apply for these loans. loans. So, so imagine, imagine if the employer is, is also applying for the loans, loans and, and counting, counting all of the 1099 work, work you're, you're you're almost, almost double dipping because, because one employer, employer is saying you know i paid fifty thousand dollars in 1099 work, work. So, so i'd like, like that, that as part, part of my loan, loan where that fifty thousand dollar work is, is also going to be going, going out there and reapplying for that idle loan so that ties up fifty thousand dollars of, of loan, loan amount, amount which, which could, could have, have gone, gone to another, another business, business owner mm -hmm. that really needs it okay so, so I'm, I'm, that's, that's really, really complex, complex but, but yes, yes as, as a 1099, 1099 you can apply for it and as a business, business owner there are not many, many restrictions, restrictions to say, say that, that you can't, can't or you yeah. can so, so some people so are I doing see, it i say do it Anyways, because majority, I was going back and forth on that because I was getting a lot of info back and forth. And do, mm -hmm. so you know, some of the people are saying like, like I got, I hired pool people, right? To come clean my pool. Mm -hmm. uh, I hired cleaners, right? So, and then that's, that's like two employees, right? Mm -hmm. And then I hired like somebody to come paint my stuff and, you know, <clears throat> my walls, you know? And so that's like three people. So you can all kind of count them in. I think if it becomes an issue, we can always change it. But as far as yeah, right yeah. now, I think the reason why I say that is because I think at the next page, you'll see why. Because so I just say I put in like me and three other guys, so that becomes four. Oop, I'm missing something here. So it's not valid. Oh, so the phone number. Let me do something here. Nine. There we go. So it's going to the next page. Oh, it's going to it's going to ask you for my info. Let's see. I should have I should have hidden. Let me hit in this so you guys don't see where I my info is at. So let me hide <laughs> it and fill it out for you guys. But um, you got anything to add right now as far as what you're seeing? Is there is there how how busy was was everybody on Friday? Very busy. Um, I had customers calling me a week before this was even available, um, just so they can get ready and prepared for it. So I completely understand their frustration and their uncertainty about all of this. But um, but yeah, it I can't stress enough just to prepare your documents and be able to uh, submit that as soon as you can. Once you determine what program you're gonna be going with, then um, definitely apply for it through the SBA website or apply through your banks if you're doing the PPP loan. Um, so some banks may require that you just do it online. I know with Wells Fargo, they're requiring that you only go online. So that's going to um, really uh, 
expedite that process for you guys. It's going to save you time so you don't have to, you know, set an appointment, come in, wait in line, just go right online and, uh, and get the process started. Um, for other smaller banks like credit unions, they may actually need you to bring in documentation. Again, I can't speak for how their uh, process is, but some customers are going through their bank and bringing in paperwork and some customers are going straight through um, the digital resources that their bank has available. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so you're not seeing them at all. So you're just... I'm just yeah. on the phone 24-7 at work. So yeah, it's just... How can, can, you know, you know when is it going to be available? available? What documentation? And all this information is available. So if you are Wells Fargo customers, customers and you um, have, have business accounts with us, if you, you go, go onto your, your online, online banking, banking um, it's all the FAQs, FAQs um, questions, questions are up, are up there. there. So, so they're, they're going to tell you, you know, you know what, documentation what documentation you've got prepared, who qualifies, um, um, how do we make sure that this uh, PPP, PPP is, is forgiven. forgiven. Um, they, they have, have all, all of those, those information, information readily available, available for you and the and website, website linked straight, straight to where you, where you need to send, send all your documentation, documentation to. Cool. All right. So, um, um, so I mean, there's, are you familiar with this particular at all? And I, I guess I can explain it too, because it took me a while to, um, to understand what this meant. So are you familiar with this question right here? It says, uh, is your business owned by a business entity? So what my, well, my understanding is like, you know, some of you might have like a, like real estate company. Like for me, <clears throat> there's a couple ways where you can have like, um, if I was to mention like a Wyoming corporation and a Nevada corporation, some people would nest the LLC inside these particular corporation for like, you know, identity protection. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I, I kind of captured uh, from what they're saying here. Is that what you're you're thinking as well? Yes, yes, okay, yes that's cool. that correct. correct. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So let's just say no, you know, for, for this particular example. Uh, and then it's going to ask you additional info like uh, have you been convicted of a – have you been a criminal person? Just say no to all these, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of fill out this information here. But what's most important is this particular part right here, right? I would like to be considered for an advancement of the $10,000 that we've been talking about, right? Correct. Make sure you check this so you can get your $10,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it, right? Yeah, and then you give them your bank info and that's it. Correct. If you guys, you guys are, are filling, filling out, out another, another, I know there's, I know there's a, ton a ton of applications, applications out there. there. If, you if you guys, guys are, are filling, filling out applications, applications where it does, it does not, not have, have that box, box you need to write it on your application. application. Somewhere on your application, you need to write it. So some other businesses um, could be applying through, um, you know, micro lending offices or through a nonprofit organization. And if they have their own forms and it does not have that little checkoff box like the SBA website, you, you need, need to, to write, write it on, it on there, there stating that, that you want, want that advancement of that 10,000 10, and sign off on it. it. So if so you, you write it on the application, application I'm hearing, hearing that, that is, um, you, know, you know, left, left out, out in some, some applications, applications out there. there. You rather suggest that they do it here, right? Online? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Like if you're, yeah, yeah if, you're if you're going out, out if, if you're going anywhere else, then you're, you know, you need to make sure you have professional help doing that, you know, overlooking that. But sba.gov is the website for the the economic disaster loan. Gotcha. So guys, do it after we get done with this, you know, and that's it. You hit, you, you hit next. And then I think it, it does a confirmation with the summary part. Just make sure everything looks right, and then that's it. I mean, this should take you like ten minutes at most, All right? So, uh, don't you guys have a business? Like I said, if you are a person that sells stuff, you know, you qualify for it. You know, if you drive for Uber, you you, you qualify for it. You landlords, you qualify for it. Um, just apply now so you can get in front of this line to get this particular money. Uh, let's go through any questions here. Okay, yes, saying, hey, if you are in California, reach out to the, if you are in California, reach out to the California Home Chamber of Commerce. They'll walk you through. Those guys are awesome. Um, they'll walk you, they'll help walk, walk you guys through that as well. If you are, if you are mute, disable your audio. Okay, yeah. Um, 
so let's go back to your your PPP, right? So this is this is one particular loan, right? So this is your yeah, yeah. your EIDL loan to get that. Would you consider doing both? You can. You can. So, so you can, you can do, do both. both. Um, um, I, I would, would me personally, I'd probably, probably do one, one or the other. other. Uh, um, but again, again that's, that's a that's, that's a business, business decision um, for you know, you know the business, business owner, depending on what circumstance you're in. in. So again, so if, if you're, you're if you're a larger, larger business, business where you're needing um, you know a larger amount, and it may not be so heavily based on payroll, then do the do the, the idle loan. loan. You can you also can apply for the PPP, PPP. Um, and, so and so that, that way, way, in case you don't, you don't get, approved get approved for that idle, idle loan, loan, you still, still have, the, have PPP the PPP to fall to back fall. on. So that's that's what I've been suggesting for my customers. Gotcha. But what's you, you can apply for both? What's different? I mean, let's let's go back and say what's the difference between the PPP and the EIDL? While wow, I'll do this particular page here. Can you refresh us and tell us what, what the difference is? Yes, yes. So the main difference is that that PPP loan is going to be if most of, remember, it, that, that forgiveness loan um, is on that PPP for up to 100% of what you get. So if you fall in between, um, you know, that right mix of, you know, your, your numbers as far as like your payroll, if, if, um, if you're keeping your staff at, um, you know, what it, what it was before the economic crisis, um, that's what they're going to be looking for, for that, that forgiveness. So if you can maintain that, that's a good program for you because at the end you can come out with getting, um, a loan, um, as big as you would on the idle side, but then having it all forgiven as long as you use it for the intended purpose, which are the 75% going towards, um, you know, payroll and the rest going towards, you know, uh, your mortgage, interest payments, um, cost, healthcare benefits, things like that. So that's, that's the beauty of that program of the PPL. On the idle loan, again, it's, uh, the process is a little bit longer. Again, SBA is going to be looking at um, credit because again, you can, you can potentially request for more on the loan to cover more than just what the PPL covers. You can, you know, um, cover uh, equipment, you can cover um, consolidating debt, you can cover, you know, more things on that end. So your loan is probably going to be larger on the idle loan. Um, mm -hmm. But again, all those other restrictions apply, like you got to be, you know, credit approved, they may ask for more information. Um, at, and at the end of it, it, they could come back and give you an amount that you know, you're happy with or you feel, you know, is perfect or not. So that's the idle part of it. The PPP loan is more of the forgiveness loan, but again, it has to be used for the purpose intended for it to be forgiven. Otherwise you're still going to have, um, you know, you know uh, uh, an, advertised an advertised payment, payment at the, at end, the of end of it. Gotcha. So uh, this, you don't apply on sba.gov right no the you ppp know, loan goes, goes through, through yeah your, your financial, financial institution. institution and you can do you can find it from because i was looking for a link where and then i was just thinking that what you said here you find your lender but usually you go through your bank like you're saying correct right? so you know wells fargo if you have wells fargo you would just go you know type in your bank or whichever your bank is you, you can just call them up and say hey do you guys have it and then and then apply I mean, for Wells Fargo, you apply online, right? You're saying some other right, things right. you might, you know, it might be different, different ways to apply yeah. for it. So yeah, there's no way for me to show it to you. So um, anybody's got any questions? Um, watching, you have any questions here? Let me hide this and go back to my, my chat. Uh, so I know it's going to get worse, guys. I mean, I mean this is just the first month. Um, Wait to the second or third month when people are running out of funds. That's when it's going to get worse. Um, 
Mm, uh, so. <laughs> so I'm not getting all this, but somebody's saying, can we pay you to fill her fill this out for us? <laughs> <laughs> I think too, I think if you can't fill out like a three, four pages, I mean that took us like less than ten minutes, right? I mean you should be I mean it's actually just asking you for your info, right, Bella? So it's like I mean correct amount of time for her to ask you for your info, you could have done it yourself. So too. Yeah. That <laughs> brings uh, up something as well, though, you know, just for the, com the Hmong community, if like you have parents or, you know, elders who maybe own a shop and, you know, they just need help and just are not, you know, computer savvy, they can go into nonprofit organizations such as, you know, the, um, uh, you know, Women's Venture Score. Um, they can go into their local small business administration. They may have uh, places where you can go and get help to sit down. Someone will help you walk walk you through it. So if in case you do come across where you just can't get it through, or your computer's not working, or you need just additional help, then that definitely you can use those resources as well. Gotcha. Uh, there was a, there was, I remember uh, going through the process, there was a section that says uh, if you had somebody assisting you, mm -hmm. uh, you have to put their information down as well. Correct. So, yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah, uh, she can do it for you if you want. <laughs> and I don't know how much she'll charge, but. <laughs> um, let's see, Ola goes, ask her if she has the grant guidelines. You Is there a guideline for the grants like i think i think i know what he's asking right like like i mean we're just checking a box do you mm -hmm. is there a certain requirements on there that you that you have like that they're giving you saying hey this is the requirements for that particular grant not necessarily right now like um if you want to go broad it's just making sure that i got some notes here with me so See. Like, okay, so I didn't catch it because what was the one that pointed out to me? And I thought originally, if you if you look through like you know, just online, most people are saying free 10k. But if you actually and if you actually, or, or I was not the one that actually pointed out to me. He was like, it says up to 10k. Mm -hmm. So is there a number that you say, okay, I need this particular amount? to get to that 10k amount you see you see what my if I'm asking you're, yeah if you're if you're talking about how much should i apply for or like what what should i put in that loan number for that will help me get that yeah. um i think that's like what you make in one year okay so if yeah. you add if you add up all your you know um um payments to yourself in your your net um in one year and then you're going to divide it by 12 and then multiply it by 2.5. That's typically what they're saying is going to be the loan amount that you will get. So oh. that's, yeah. So that's, that's on, that's if you're, you're a, a sole proprietor. Okay. If you own your own business um, and you just think that you need that 10,000 part of it, um, it's, it's that, that's a calculation that a lot of the business owners are putting together. It's like, how much do I apply for as a small business owner? Um, how do I know if I need 10,000 or more? So um, take a look at what you are paying yourself, your employees um, up to a year, divide that by 12 um, and then multiply it by 2.5 equals the loan amount that um, you know the banks or SBA will be uh, looking you know, at your numbers for. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. So that's how you get the number. Um, let's see if anybody else any other questions here. Uh, has anybody done this? Let me see if anybody's done this. Uh, if you have, if you have, can you guys just say yes in the chat? Just want to see if anybody else done it. Um, but just to you know, while we wait, just to see what you know what the results were. Uh, I think I can do. I think I can even do a poll here. Let me see here. Uh, but go ahead and put that in the chat, guys. No, no poll. I thought there was a poll here. Mm. 
No, I think the old version had a poll, but uh, I want to see if anybody else done this. Let's see here. Let's see if there's any other questions here. Uh, so just to refresh, uh, guys, get this done if you have a business. If you work for yourself, get this done. Mm -hmm. um, don't wait. <clears throat> I slacked off enough and found out that <clears throat> I uh, waited too long and I might not be a part of that. I think they say what they're, they're only taking 1 million applications. And, mm -hmm. and when you, do you know, like the, when you got your confirmation number back, do you know if that is the amount of, I mean, I'm assuming that's the amount of people that are applying so let's say you're the first one that confirmation number is one do you do you know if that's in correlation to that i'm not sure because yeah i'm, I'm not sure i can't speak to that but because again yeah, so when i did other, it mm -hmm. so when i did it the reason why i say that is because when i did it it was like three billion something it was like three oh, wow. billion something and then i'm like well let me go back and do it as you know, just using my social security number. And then that was like, <clears throat> like eight hours later, and it was like 3 billion and then, you know, 500 something, 500,000. So it was like 500,000 people did it like within eight hours. So mm -hmm. that's my guess is that as you people apply, it, that just increments by one. I, I don't know, that's my guess. So yeah. if that's the case, I already missed the the 1 million application that they're, they're talking about. So. Uh, but still apply because we don't know. We're just guessing at this point, guys. And you get free money along with it. Um, uh, let's see here. I don't think I have anything else here. So check one more place here, Bella. So. So, Bella, you're just working nine to five every day now, or are you saying you were doing this twenty four hours? Is that yeah, are you, yeah? Well, are you pushing you guys it, it almost, twenty four hours to get those those loans in. Yeah, it almost feels like twenty four hours because you know, even though I'm at home, it's like, um, you know, with this um, pandemic happening, they have shortened bankers' hours. They have closed the, you know, depending on what bank you work for, they've closed the lobbies. Um, so they they've shortened our work week. I'm actually just working a few days a week. Yeah. Um, you know, just so that they're helping us with not having so much exposure to the public. Um, we're still frontline pretty much. We're still working in front of customers every mm -hmm. day. So really, they're truly helping us to lessen our exposure um, to the pandemic. But yeah, I'm there th usually three days a week. And, um, you know, email is the best way to reach me. So if you guys can contact me on Facebook and um, I can definitely message you guys my uh, direct work uh, email that way if you guys have any questions that pop up definitely email me um, if I don't get back to you right away I usually will get back to you within 24 hours awesome so yeah so let's go ahead and end it here I didn't see any further questions so hey thanks for joining um, one more part of our segment we have a segment here saying that if you had one billion dollars what would you do with it oh is that for me yeah, yes. That's a question that we have one of our every every one of our guests here. So Oh awesome. If you $1 billion, what would you do with it? If that was today, I would put a portion in the market today because it's definitely the time to put funds in the market for some people. But um but yeah, oh gosh, for me it would be, you know, retire myself, right? Retire my family, you know, put it towards, you know, give it back to the community, help the community, um, you know, start a business, you know, really have that time to focus on what you're passionate about, which is helping others and creating a service or a product or something for, you know, that, that people, that people would love and enjoy. Just curious, what, what business would you start? Gosh, for me, since you're, um, since you're a small business advisor, so you yeah. see a lot of applications come through. Gosh, you guys, I don't know if I if I want to share this with you guys, but yeah, there's a lot out there. I I, I would definitely um, want to go into like the you know fair food concession stand. You know, if an opportunity ever opens up, I would just a light bulb kind of uh, 
know, why is that, came is up that, there. Is that um, money? It, it can be if you if you can get into like the really large state fairs. And so um, I would love to, you know, be, you know, able to work a few weeks out of the year and and, you know, make up to a hundred plus thousand. You know, why not? Right. Uh, yeah. I, had no idea. I mean, is that is, do you I, I mean, I don't know if you're will pry me into your clients. But, <laughs> so. Yeah. Here in Minnesota, like there are a few states that um, will allow you to make a ton of money if you can get into, you know, the state fairs and yes. uh, you have to, you know, again, you have to find something out there that's that that people like and that the, the state fair uh, would com like believe in that would make them, you know, you know, a ton of revenue. But uh, yeah, if you can get in, you know, it's. It's great for you. You work a few days out of the week, and that's just one one state. So, so she's right. There's some truth in that because I had a tenant that uh, was kind of like a like a uh, like a pastor. Uh, so he was getting some income, but then he didn't really cover the my rent requirements. But he's like, so I, I almost denied him. But then he went back and say, "Well, oh, I forgot to give you this." So he gives me his 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 profit, uh, whatever uh, statement from because he does like um, like what you said, like the fair stuff, right? Where mm -hmm. like when the fair comes, I think they come like quarterly, like four times a year. So he does that stuff, and you know he's, he goes, "Well, I don't my this is my income, you know, I won't quality." I, I almost like I said, I almost say hey you didn't qualify but he went ahead and added this in and that kind of took him over it because he made so much money from like you know doing like fair like concessions or something or whatever i didn't really ask him what it was but he gave me the statement i looked at it because okay you know he's making so much money from like being at the fair so uh if that's what you're saying hey there we go there you guys go you know there's another way to also make some money for like only a few weeks Absolutely. You guys can start off at like small fairs and then work your way to like the big state fairs. So a ton of, um, you know, so that's what I would like to do. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Well, thanks again for joining us. Um, you know, this is good info. I mean, like I said, the, the biggest thing here to take out of today is just apply, right? You can always deny this application, but you just want to be in line just, just so you might get that. 10k money or up to 10k money all right so thanks bella for joining us um thank you giving us information and those of you guys keep hustling all right thanks guys mm -hmm.